think we're ready for more. What is this little drum? And the Mechanicus, what are we doing? I sure hope the army Sikopaya is here. Do not keep your hopes up, my ghost huh? for us. Remember what happened the last time we tried finding it on a people world. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. They launched you out of a cannon. Hair. Thank you, you for the super chat. You could say check. that you pierced the heavens. I am not sure who uh... said you were But if you persist in making <laughs> stupid jokes, you better believe in me, sir. Believe that you lying dead on the ground. The whole truth straight for your fucking graveyard. It's better <laughs> than you standing here, wasting oxygen. Besides, you have to find this STC. Or alternatively, the Omnisicopia. Oh, what well, is that? Actually, I cannot see any. Estimate. What is that? Uh, what is this Omnisicopia? Like, it sounds like a music term, syncopa, but like, it's not the same. I know, I could tell. Oh, 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 thank you, Dr. Nemo. The Omnisincopa was an artifact sought after by the Magos Delphin Grus. This device was believed to be a data storage mechanism that contained every STC blueprint with a psychic component created during the Dark Age of Technology. Oh, cool. STC around here, but that giant pillar certainly looks peculiar. It's too close, I can't tell if it's... Oh! Oh yeah, that's pretty Are peculiar. <laughs> Yeah. I would say I would Look, say there are more of them over there. Oh. 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 Hey. I am part of season who, who are you, sir? Mankind for twice these planets, jumping around like idiots at the repeated patterns of sound blasting out of these pillars. They also injected copious amounts of drugs. <laughs> Sounds like the fact that the general does all the time. Can we get like a tabloid for like fabricator general arrested again for use of, I don't know, I don't know what they named the drugs in uh, 40k. <laughs> must send for more deaths. We have a lot of yes, 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 yes I'd rather not. I was gonna say. <laughs> Their obnoxious chatting just worsens my eternal headache. Well, maybe no discussion about something will ease your splinted mind, my lord. Mm -hmm. I'm open to talk about anything. I would be too, but let's yeah. not forget what happened last time you said that. <laughs> Try and keep to subjects that won't make me want to destroy the entire galaxy <laughs> with my transcendent yes. bowel movements. Oh, oh. Any ideas? How about you tell me about those Xeno creatures that you mentioned back when we read those revolting <laughs> questions? Tola, or whatever their name was. Um, can I not say that I did? Are you defending oh. me? Why don't you want to talk about it? That's uh, sus. Maybe... It's just... You said not to talk about things oh, that cause oh. explosive warp farts and... <laughs> I would like to remind you, young man, that I'm the mother young of the Emperor, and that defying my subject matter of the day will have oh. you be selected as the target for the Seek and Destroy mission during the next Blood Games. Oh no! Your custodian brothers will have a pleasing high time chasing you around. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine with the Fabstodies, it's much worse and much more scarring. Imagine. Imagine. You're trying to get away from the Fabstodies. And they do their little here. I'll do. I'll do a little laugh for you guys. They're <laughs> they're like 
oh, I, I don't even want to say the caption that they do, but they're like, <laughs> they chase you like that. Ah, <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> I, I'd be screaming. I would be screaming. Just. <laughs> Like, yeah, they'd be like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> it would be so bad. You could run at full speed. They would walk. They know they're going to catch you anyway. Clippers. Oh, no. Oh, blood game search and destroy is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it is. Uh, <laughs> good thing I don't get involved as much. It's a scarring experience. You you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to deal with it. It'd be pre it would be pretty it'd be pretty bad. <laughs> with enough body oil, they wouldn't be able to reach you. You're right. They could like slide around. I don't know. Even with body oil on, I think they're quite good at their jobs. So, I wouldn't I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> and I'm going to presumably destroy part of something they particularly enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I know. I know. I made the joke about what was gonna happen, but I didn't like to hear it. I I did not like those analogies. I hated that. I hate. Uh, I'm so that is so cursed. No, no, no. They 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 they're gonna. Oh, I can't say anything, and it'll get turned around, and it'll be all wrong. It'll be all wrong. <sighs> I know I did this. I know I did this. I volunteered. I signed up for this. I hate I every time I it, like it gets worse. I do it not it's not such so much of a secret. I do enjoy it. Like 15 episodes. Like this is solid. I really like it. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I have to like parts of it. You're getting legitimate reactions. Well, stop whining. And tell me about these Tarzinos then. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, my lord. Uh, side note, he just talked back to the Emperor. Big deal. Big deal. <laughs> a race of naive, blue gray fish like people with a vagina on their forehead, oh. and a giant, stupid, toy looking war gear with no skull ornaments on at all, and weaponry that makes pathetic pew pew sounds when <laughs> Pew pew. Right. Care to elaborate? Must I? Well. During the 35th millennium, some fucking explorators from the Adeptus Mechanicus were flying around the empty void of the eastern fringes of the galaxy for no reason. Okay. Then they found some world filled with primitive fucking Xenos that only used rocks as weapons, which, for the record, is still a lot more aesthetically pleasing than what they were <laughs> today. These no nose fish fuckers split themselves mm -hmm. into four different factions or whatever that represented the only resources they had in the little rock of theirs. Okay. Which were water, earth, fire, oh. and air. These factions constantly fought like skinny misfits with mental issues for no reason. Then at some point, another faction came along out of nowhere which called themselves the Ethereals. They said to the tower, Hey, you should stop throwing rocks at each other, you fucking idiots. <laughs> and the other said, oh, yeah, I didn't really think of that. So then they became the Ethereal Slaves for no reason. Started to build all what? This stupid shit. And then decided to Full disclosure, I know like little to nothing about Tao other than that everyone hates them because they don't fit the, the grim dark theme. Like, <laughs> so uh, this is all new and I have no idea how accurate any of this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the fire cast attack. That's so funny. <laughs> Get a little Avatar airbender reference in there. That's good. That's good. The lore is accurate. Oh, okay. So they, they just became slaves because why not? <laughs> I want to see a Tau uh, avatar. Mm. Sorry for the noise. I have tea today. 
they're kind of pathetic. Yeah, I, I know there's a lot. Some people like them. There's like uh, a, a lot of like hate for them. I don't hate them in particular. I just like to give people a hard time. Roy, accurate. Uh, but hey, there is just one Tao that everyone respects. I don't know who that is. We'll find out. We'll ho ho We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Go and try some space concrete, which they've barely done any of. Since they're still sitting way up east, rolling their fucking thumbs. No, wait, no, they don't even have thumbs. So, sum it all up. There are small Xenos raised with scary toy guns that kidnap garden guards and cut their balls off for no reason. Whoa! I'm completely redundant to keep any threat record, and I am sick to death of them being brought up all the time, because there's never any fucking reason to. Damn, calm down, son. Dang, he's I'm pissed. Asking. Shit, you are star <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Bro, why is he so pissed about um why is he so mad? I'm I'm sure I'm gonna find out. Yeah, even the Emperor is like, chill out. I'm proven to be a psyker. What did I for what? I, I have no idea, like, when I say stuff and then the chats go through, like, a, what it's, like, referring to. It's not, like, a, a situation where I can, like, read social cues. I can't read anything except chat. This is... He's pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have an issue with one, buddy? You seem kind of, it seems kind of personal. Starting to sound like your father. I'm sorry, my <laughs> So humans tend to leave the Imperium to go and join the Xenos Empire, correct? Yes, but it's not only humans. The Tau have got a shitload of other minuscule and important Xeno races to join them as well. Just like a gang of creepy old hobos in a high city, they lure in others with promises of deeds performed for the greater good. <laughs> never really specifying what the greater good is, nor why they keep... Mo I, re I love the greater good joke the last time. That was so, so fabulous. And now they're just, they're just leaning into it so heavily. I'm going to find out it. This is, this is, I'm sure you can't tell me outright that it's a spoiler. I just find it interesting. That's all that like, there's times you'll say just like, oh, you're a psyker. I'm like, huh? what I do? What did I do? <laughs> about it as they force you to go deep inside their own domain. Ah! Ah! No! I hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm with the Emperor. Yeah, I'm pretty sick in when he puts it into this context. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. <sighs> okay. Did, did you have an encounter, kitten? That seems like weird for you to have an encounter. Like, with the towel, because you're supposed to be in the palace, but like, man, ah, uh, Bud. All this repressed anger isn't from some pseudo-weird first-hand experience. Yeah. I'd rather not say- Oh, no, well, you should tell us. Bro. Spill it. Spill the tea. Whoa, hey, 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 I need to hear more place. information. Um, well, if you put it like that- Right there, father. Do not let him brainwash you so easily. Oh, um, ooh. Um, do you still have a brain, actually? Bra. Sure. <laughs> Check later and see if it's still in there. I hope it is. Where else am I going to store all my glorious fourth wall breaking puns? Brainwashing? <laughs> really? You're complaining about brainwashing? <laughs> For looking like a yellow submarine, there seems to be a distinct lack of intelligent life living inside your head. That, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, no. Of course the Chaos Worshipper is gonna side with the fucking Xenos. Ooh, fight, fight, fight. reason in this debate, and my reason is telling me that you are very biased in this Anyone discussion. could tell no, that. I'm just telling the truth. The truth about how the Tower are a race of creepy old vagina-faced hobos that exist for no reason? Exactly! Father, do not listen to him. Mm. I do not appreciate the existence of these Xenos myself, but with their distinctive disconnection to the warp and the disrespect they have for arcane knowledge, I can tell you that these creatures could do more good for you than bad. Really? If handled correctly. Okay. Is that so? How? Then tell me, how would they benefit my goals? Maybe we can get the mechanicus to turn into servitors <laughs> and have them develop this <laughs> He is really... Who hurt you? The now have surpassed us <laughs> in our current state and many technological fields in but the span of 6,000 years. Yeah, they, they did are do a lot. They a fairly naive race, always open to the suggestion of more allies joining their empire. 
While their leaders are oppressive and tyrannical, they are but small, cuddly teddy bears in comparison to the bureaucratic puppeteers of the Imperial That's the fair. Iron handed maniacs of chaos. That is fair. These guys don't cut people's balls up or rip up people's ovaries. Seriously. <sighs> you must be as naive. Do they? I I think I think he's leading into this too heavy, but they don't they don't do that, do they? They don't um sterilize people. Well, I guess technically the, the, do they do that? Oh my gosh. Uh Bro, do, do they? They do? Oh my gosh. So if you join them, they Wait. Stop, everyone, tell the truth, tell the truth, don't be mean to me. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I, I'm i gonna have to look this up. I'm looking this up. I, I'm i getting yes, but also, oh gosh. They, they do? Wait, they do, they do. Why do they do it to the humans? That seems silly. Wait! Okay, any of you who is like, intentionally not telling the truth, don't do that. I see some people saying they do not in there, and I have no clue if you guys are in on, all in on it. At the start, they were the cinnamon rolls of the galaxy. Later, because of complaints, GW started making the Tau not that good. As in, like, morals or tabletop. They do. They snip snip. Okay, cool. Oh my... <gasps> oh, someone said they spay and neuter their pets. That's... Oh, I don't like the way that sounds, but that's pretty messed up. Oh my... <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea if any of you are telling the truth. This is like, I'm not really sure at all. Um, Tao. All right, we're going to ask the internet. I need to know. They, they do? Okay. Ah, well, this is too long. I don't want to read all that. I want to read all that. Well, okay. It's mostly- thank you for the bits. It's mostly for the humans since they're intimidated by their rabbit-like repopulation methods. Humans do outnumber the Tau. Oh, okay. Thank you, the thanks for the super chat. Sees far. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Thank you, Steven, for the super chat. The Tau only treat other Tau with better respect. Hmm. Well, okay, that's scary to think about. I don't want to think about it. I'm... See, I don't know much about the Tau, so this is an area I can learn a lot in, and this is already... I hate it. Rabbit-like repopulation sounds wrong, but right at the same time, I mean... Yeah, I mean, think about, like... Don't think about it too hard, it's not that kind of stream. But... <laughs> think about, like, the Eldar. Like, before. They had, like, all the time in the world. They basically just didn't die. <laughs> For the most part, you got all the time in the world. Humans, like, we live such a short, like, they live such a short time. <laughs> Bro, this has, like, been an absolute, it's mind-boggling. I hate it. But we gotta figure out what Kitten's deal is. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Is the Tau if you don't believe that mankind is just as capable of such atrocities. Your Imperium has forced gilding onto more than a few innocent people, I bet, what with all those inquisitorial sterilization camps. Oof. Yeah, As I was gonna say, we do that well, too. So that has a weird sense of humor. Alright, fine, you got me on that one. I think that with the use of your powerful charisma, you could manipulate these signals into working for you. Chat. Chat, please don't. Please don't tell me. I, I, it's so bad. I should not be thinking immediately what what these things are going to be. But I feel like it, it, it writes itself and I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me. We're going to have... Oh, no. <laughs> Is Kitten going to become a, a Fab Stonies? I don't want him to. Oh, no. Yeah. Which would more likely be the last man of this world, the Imperium of yours? Didn't you mention that they had no presence in the world? 
How am I supposed to use my charisma when I can bolster it with my psychic strength? No, they do have a presence in the war, but it is Oh, very Magnus small. was talking to like an overwhelming the Emperor. Okay, okay. Will still be able to affect them. My lord, I beg of you, do not listen oh, to this no. possessed traitor. Bro. The Tau fight only for their ideology. Enslaved by the Ethereals, are control them through pheromones like they're some kind of horny rodents. They only fight for their greater good. Well, what if mm. I use my powers to become their greater good? Ooh. What? No, but I'd prefer at least one of you custodians to keep your armor on. Uh, what? Never mind. What? Just shut oh, up and do what I say. Oh, boy. Seriously, my lord, they're Xenos. As long as they are under regulation and they do not interfere with mankind, it is all right. Okay. <laughs> Winsworthy, basically another way to say cringe. <laughs> Before cringe was a thing. <laughs> long as they serve the Imperium and only fire upon those who wish to destroy us, it is all right. But they have a okay, okay. that promotes a completely classless living where every individual works for the betterment of it all, but in actuality, it's the present dictation based around the ethereal well-being. As mm. long as everyone is treated well and fairly in the conjoined Imperium, where there will be no need corrupt political <laughs> systems and the ethereals will be under my direct control it's all right but they have turned a whole lot of loyal guards into sterile base dwelling towers that only ever draw nude pictures that they use as long as i'm not showing any of that they're I calling out the people on the internet or garbage it's all right but they can't even fight in melee <laughs> i'm sorry but what did you just say? Oh the boy. Tau are a cowardly race that only fire upon their own so far, never engaging in any form of melee combat. Oh no, is we changing it? Magnus. Well, yes. I didn't know he'd be so fired up about this. Absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> Oh, what are you going to say? How can they not fight in glorious hand to hand face to face combat with their true champions of the battlefield? Basically, they just shoot any awful and get into rage. And what's more, they're also all physically weak and pathetic. They seriously make drones from all of the warriors half of them have had the technology to make giant robot suits, but they only ever use those suits to carry bigger guns and not use those soldiers. Seriously, what is the fucking point in making a giant robot with oh my gosh. Their own limbs if you're not gonna use it to punch the shit out of the things? Oh, this is missing but that that was us use that for greater things. <laughs> <laughs> this revelation fills you with more disgust oh. and a sister of child's being thrown into a pile of feeding tangrels. Oh my gosh! Go off! Go off! Bring some fucking chain cat and his or something. My lord, I will personally take my halberd and go to the crusade. Do it! Do it! Do it! And I will shut it down the throats of every single one of their pathetic fucking hides, drowning them in their own blood for your glory, oh my, my lord. Father, are you really sure this reasoning is, um, sound? Shut your fucking mouth, you talk oh. to sound and That's one to one so far. Keep it up. I learned from the best. Damn straight. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to my damn room. Yeah, you probably should. Oh my. Hey, can I actually tell you a funny story about the tower, Ratten? Oh, you're so chill all of a sudden? Story time. Not too long ago, the tower were fighting the Druids. They feared this enemy and desperately looked for allies since, as we know, the tower can't fight their own fucking battles. But then they were contacted by the Dark Eldar that offered them help. Oh. Why would you do that? Ooh, okay. 
After that, however, the Dark Elder leader came to the Tau leader. Yeah, what they do to him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they just sold people into slavery. Oh. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so bad. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Well, that that's pretty messed up. You made mistakes, man. Oh, okay. Later, they fought against the second wave of terror. The Dark Elder had some special forces with them that they called Grotesque. Oh no. Which were big, hulking beasts that moaned in suffering as they fought. Later, when the battle was over, the Tower managed to find out that these Grotesques apparently won yep. the Tower ambassadors from the Cultural Exchange. The Tower were kind of upset by this. Yeah, I would be upset too. They sent their brethren along with the spiky, super realistic looking drug dealers. In response to this, the tower take the Dark Elder ships, but as they fired upon them, they realized that the ships weren't actually there anymore. Later, when the tower forces went back to the planet they oh, were no. in the first place, they discovered that the Dark Elder had super pillaged the entire planet and left it completely barren. All tower civilians, buildings, and presumably plants taken to the Dark Elder realm of Kamara to become subject to incredibly kinky shit, possibly involving precision knives, drugs, and nail clippers. So earlier, I said slaves as a PG version of what the Dark Eldar would do to you. I'm well aware they do bad, really One bad stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I totally understood that it was, um, it was not going to be a, a good existence. That's pretty bad getting turned into something like that. And then yeah, they're like, mm, let's take all your people. Nice. <laughs> Those civilians. Yeah, that, 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 ooh. Oof, big oof. Uh, yeah, even though I might not be a fan of the Tau, I can at least say that I feel bad for them. That's pretty bad. Ooh. Oh, boy. You would think that anyone would assume that a cultural exchange with a species that looked like completely cracked up EDSM enthusiasts would be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, again, I was thinking that too. If you had some damn melee weapons with them, that wouldn't have been a fucking problem. Before we fix for an entertaining story, I Ooh. just remembered something. Where you left your Ouija board. <laughs> there is one Tau warrior oh, who yes. the oppressive rule. Oh the boy, it's it's the guy. His giant robot armor to wield the devastating warp powered sword. Everything you just said sounded pretty damn worthy of my Yeah, attention. it does. Commander Carfreight, or whatever his name is. Commander Farsight, yes. Oh. oh. He's known for wrecking a large number of orcs and causing oh. the breakaway colony from the main Tau region known as the Farsight Enclave. Apparently, he didn't appreciate having his troops lobotomized by the ethereal, so good, good, he just good man. go and do his own thing. Interesting. Tell me more about this car freight character. <laughs> he sounds fun. Perhaps we can make a cheesy animated hollow vid series about him and his adventures and fill it to the brim with my kind of imperial propaganda. Yes. yes. Get us some imperial propaganda. The Legion's plan has only just begun. <sighs> I was hoping to change subject matter to something that lessens my own head. He's pretty much a Tau Primark. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Roy, for the bits. Oh, I'm just gonna pout here. <laughs> I'm gonna say it because I, I enjoy it. <laughs> don't 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 forget his uh his sandpaper cigarette. <laughs> it makes me laugh so much. Everyone bust out your sandpaper cigarettes. <laughs> this is just it. The Order Castle them has obviously not done their job very well. Oh my gosh. Really? Hey, don't worry, Fyodor. At least we still have each other. Uh, shut up. And not only that, but a shitload of inquisitors from across the galaxy as well. <laughs> But even now, I still don't have those damn sad <laughs> It's so easy to call. It's it is so easy to call at this point. It's so easy. <laughs> Gotta get those sandpaper cigarettes.
I gotta hear that again. A load of inquisitors from across the galaxy as well. But even now, <laughs> I still don't have those damn sad paper cigarettes. Seriously, what the? F we are going to <laughs> consider by the ignorant, heretical thing anyone has ever done since the horrid days of the Horus Heresy. Uh, yeah. However, with the God Emperor as my witness, it will instead be the most pure and noble thing anyone has ever done for the Imperium. Now that's the spirit, Fyodor. I mean, look at all the Ordos here. Languages <laughs> of the Order of Malaeus, Hereticus, and Xenos, and oh, this art. Russia, of course. And then we got the Order of Aegis, the Order of Barbarus, the Order of Custodum, as you mentioned, the Order of Astartes, the Order of Sanctorum, the Order of Redactus, the Order of Necros, the Order of Sanctorum, the Order of Voluntarium, the Order of Sicarius, the Order of Vigilus, the Order of Reginatus, the Order of Asher, the Order of Thanatos, the Order of Genus, the Order of Sanctorum, the Order of Thessalonus, the Order of Strictus, the Order of Obscurus, the Order of Orduus, the Order of Otis, the Order of Alphys, the Order of Rindicatorus, and even the Order of Kronos. Why the hell isn't there an Order of Sandpaper? Oh my gosh! I really need to take Someone get him his. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Someone get him his sandpaper cigarettes! <laughs> Orcs, men oh and my. Women of the oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We'll charge Eternity Gate and the Imperial Palace to find whoever sent this message. Oh my gosh! We will save the Imperium. And the violent corrupted. They told you who sent it. Most holy speeches. Bruh. Dirt creeps into us unexpected. Which just further shows that there's no such oh. thing as innocence. Oh. And we He's so angry. Are here to bring them there, judgment. Hey, Fyodor, you should just preach them to death. Oh, that would work. Be quiet, Dominique. 